Welcome everyone. We've got some very exciting prospects on our hands. The impala that you can see is in grave danger of being taken down by two female cheetah that are heading straight in its direction. As Ferg zooms out, could you mark, please, Ferg? You'll notice that. Which which are you on that one? Okay, so it's it's difficult to see, but there's a little ridge that the impala is feeding on. And beyond that ridge, there's a, there's a little, well, there's a valley, rather. Sorry, I'm so excited. And the cheetah are somewhere just below that impala. It seems like the impala's on fr flat ground where it is, but it isn't. And we've just looped ahead of these cheetah because they were heading straight towards this impala as well as a few more impala rams as well as some Thompson's gazelle. So there's a whole bunch of prey here and a, and a beautiful beautiful sunset as you can see hello to everyone that's just joined us on facebook we've got a cheetah that's heading straight towards this impala and these thompson's gazelle the impala on the left that ferg's zooming into now is the closest prey to them and i wish i knew what they were doing right now i've been trying to stand on my seat to get a little bit more of a vantage point uh, to get a glimpse into where they might be they could just be taking their time trying to stalk as close as possible before unleashing their furious speed. And like I said, it's not just one, but two female cheetah. They're youngsters, so I'm not convinced how experienced they are. They have managed to just catch a scrub here about 20 minutes ago. And at any moment now, they could explode. It's crazy what an optical illusion it is because that grass beyond the impala is actually on the other side of a valley. <laughs> so the cheetah are below where its little hooves are, somewhere in that valley. They can't be too far from it. And we are in the best possible place if they do end up chasing it. It could well end up running straight towards us. I'm fairly certain. Oh, there they go. Here they come. They're coming at it. Zoom out. They're coming from the right. They're coming from the right. Look at this, straight towards us. Well, that, that first one missed it. There's another cheetah. There's the other cheetahs after it. The other cheetahs after the impala now. Whew. But it too also missed. So the two of them had an incredibly good go at those impala. And I think it's fair to say that that impala is very, very lucky to have got away. When it escaped from the first one, I was scanning around wondering where the second one was, and it just appeared out of nowhere. How absolutely awesome was that? Whew. Incredible stuff, and I'm so glad everyone got to join on Facebook, as well as the Sunset Safari. Let's see what they are up to. It looks like a beautiful, beautiful scene there with the setting sun, a cheetah taking a breather. Oh, I got so excited. I just said it was coming. I didn't tell Ferg which direction it was coming from initially, but Ferg did a great job on trying to keep the camera poised on the fastest land mammal going about its business. There was one or two shots when that impala was bearing straight down the barrel of the lens, and it'll be wonderful to actually have a, have a look if we can have some slow motion clips of what went down. It all happens so quickly that it's hard to actually piece together the puzzle even after it's happened. It was all a blur for me, and I'm certainly looking forward to looking at that slowed down a little bit. To everyone on Facebook, thanks for joining, but we are going to say goodbye to you now. And back to just the sunset. Safari fans and viewers, good to have all of you with us. We are trying out a few new Facebook Lives, trying to 
spread these incredible moments and share these incredible moments with as many people as possible. So please bear with us as we get used to that. And we are not going to keep you in the Masai Mara too much longer because Byron has managed to find the Birmingham boys.